Whether you like it smashed, sliced in a salad, or teamed with an Aussie icon, we can't get enough of avocados. Oh yeah, I've been smashing avos this year. Like um, last year, I very rarely had avocado, but this year, it's on everything. And it's not just the oily, creamy flavour leaving us wanting more. Probably, I think people are maybe a bit more health conscious now, so avocado instead of butter. Aussie growers produced 66 tonnes of avocados last financial year and a forecast to grow a record 75,000 tonnes this year, the majority of which comes straight out of Queensland. Demand for avocados is far outstripping supply. Aussies ate about three and a half kilos of the fruit last year alone. Now that's a lot of avocados. It's not just an increase in appetite placing pressure on supply. Growers are facing a global shortage in avocado trees. You have to order them at least two years in advance. So it's, um, it's not a, a quick decision to go and put some avocado trees in. I was speaking to a grower the other day and he's decided the wait was too long. He's built a, his own nursery and he's going to generate his own trees. But that could change. Queensland researchers this week received over $600,000 from the state government to explore using a world first technique to rapidly increase the number of seedlings available. Current techniques to propagate avocado plants use one cutting and you can get one plant at the end and it takes about 18 months. This technology developed through Nina Mitter's lab at Coffee, we can take that one cutting and we can make 500 plants. Trials will begin next year in Tully and Bundaberg. The end goal, to double national production. But until then, you can expect prices will go up as we rely on New Zealand imports to supplement about a quarter of our supply. All the prices are starting to go up, unfortunately, on the avocado side because they're starting to become short in Australia. From here on in, yeah, they'll start rising up um, a little bit more, but uh, give it another month and they'll probably start coming back down again. Andrea Crothers, Win News.